can't stop running. We got you. You're the Prime Minister, aren't you? Not anymore. He lost his power and his fancy title. Now he's just a man. I... Shut up! Yeah! Do you know what you've done to regular folks like us? Since you villains took over the Hrim territory, our lives have been nothing but pain and misery. Heavy taxes, forced labor, it's brutal. Now we're gonna make you pay. Ah, ah, ah! Hmm, such a nice selection of tea leaves in the pantry here. Tea is nice and all, but it's not much good when you don't have sweets to go with it. Sweet treats are less common, yes, but perhaps that makes sense. War is not sugar-coated. If you've got time to be cheeky, you've got time to find me some sweets. But Lysithia, your smile is so sweet. Lord Ferdinand, excuse the interruption. Our scouts happened upon the information you were looking for. I thought it would be best to let you know as soon as possible. They know where my father is? Yes, sir. Tell me, now. After losing his position as Prime Minister, your father was held in Enbar for a very long time. He escaped. For a while, no one knew where he was. The other day, however, he was sighted alone in the Hrim territory. Seemed he was heading for an allied region. Hrim? Alone, you say? Was he safe? I'm afraid not. There is a major insurrection happening in the Hrim territory. It's been five years since Duke Iyer lost his control of the area. The military seems to have finally lost control, and the people's violence is unleashed. I do not understand. Why are they rioting? It's obvious, isn't it? Ferdinand, do you really know nothing about Hrim? Your own father was ruling it. You don't know what became of the area once he fell from power? If it was truly a House Iyer territory, I would have been trained in governing the area. But my father insisted that I have nothing to do with Hrim. But now is not the time to talk about this. We have to help him before he gets caught up in the violence. You're right. Now isn't the time for chit-chat. Let's get over there quickly. Professor, will you be coming? We'd better depart as soon as possible. I know a bit about the situation. I'll fill you in later.
This is where my father was sighted? The citizens are rioting everywhere. Over there! Quick! We need to help them! There seem to be some people inciting the violence. If we take them out, perhaps the violence will subside. It might be best to spread out. The north side of the town is in chaos. I do not think we can advance. It seems better to simply hold the line against the enemies in the north, and focus our efforts on saving the citizens in the east and south. What's my strategy? Let's make this quick. Ready when you are. I'll comply. What's the plan? Don't bother haunting me. your death. for anything. Watch and learn.
burn until we meet again. <laughs> Thank you. Looks like I won't be robbed this time. I shall not stray. Luck wasn't with you. Thank you ever so much for helping us. I don't know what would have happened if it were... Another victory. to lose. That's a win for... One to remember. My thanks. Houses are still untouched. Let's give them a good plundering, boys! Professor, let's make haste and go help them. Their lives may be forfeit if we don't get to them quickly. Ah, go on, boys! Riot to your heart's content! Room to grow. Let's do it. All 
battle for our future. I need to pull my weight. My strength is in the service of revenge. Eventually, I too will fall. I disposed of doubt long ago. It won't be in vain. This experience is critical. to count.
unpredictable. Worth a try. Fight and grow stronger. Only natural. I can't lose. It's my duty. We owe you our lives! We're saved! Saved, I say! A threat eliminated. The better to serve his height. than before. Ready when you are. <laughs> you took me lightly. For now, I'll revel in my achievement. What's the plan? You knew the odds. Ready for anything. Let's make this quick. I'll cut through. I'll cut you down! It was meant to be. I get to live in... I think that's all of them. I'm so glad we were able to help everyone. I'm your girl. to be done at your service useful welcome to fly I disposed of doubt long ago Eventually, I too will fall.
prepared. <laughs> if we cause enough chaos, we can do whatever we want! Too slow! My ambition... unfulfilled. We yield! Yield! We were just following orders. It's not like we love a good riot, really! I'd be honored. Next. The results speak for them. I owe you one. Father haunting me. I could learn from that. Oh! One to remember.
falter. Nice form. Too weak for this world. My strength is in the service of revenge. See you in the eternal flames. the odds. Another victory. I was just stronger. Was 
close. I'll cut a path for His Highness. What do you want? You better not stand in our way. Too slow. And after I went to all the trouble of killing that noble and stealing his treasure. Father, no! So we were too late after all. <laughs> Ferdinand, hey. Yes? I... I don't know what to say. About your father, I mean. No, it is all right. Some part of me was expecting this. I do not know what happened in Hrim territory, but I am sure he got what he deserved. You knew more about it, you said? Maybe you can tell me everything later. can tell you what I know. Please, do. You know about the Harim Rebellion, right? Of course. The rebellion started when Emperor Ionius IX tried to consolidate power. The Harim family tried to split off from the Empire and join the Alliance. Working with House Ordelia, they raised an insurrection. The Empire suppressed it. And then a puppet leader was installed in the Hrim territory. House Iyer was tasked with handling the actual governance of the region. Seeing this, the nobles feared that the Empire would assume total control. That's when the six great noble families chose to wrest power from Ionius IX. That's right. The insurrection of the Seven. 
I've always wondered why it was called Seven when there were only six noble families. It was the six great noble families, plus Rim. How vexing. Either way, events unfolded shortly thereafter. Are you aware of how Duke Iyer was ruling the Harim territory? He imposed harsh taxes upon the people, much harsher than on his own, making their lives very challenging. People fled their homes in droves to the neighboring Ordelia territory, but they were sent back from where they came. The Empire was occupying Ordelia territory as well, as it turned out. Issues were further complicated when Duke Iyer fell from power. Iyer was dismissed from his position, only to be replaced by Lord Arendelle. Edelgard's uncle, the regent of the Empire. Correct. And he imposed even heavier taxes on the people, squeezing them painfully dry. The people were conscripted for duty. Any who opposed were killed on the spot. Lord Arendelle did this in the name of Duke Iyer. What? Your father was by no means a great ruler. But it was Lord Arendelle who stoked the fury of the people and directed that fury at your father. Duke Iyer is not perfect, but he's not the villain in this. Lysithia, thank you for telling me all of this. I am embarrassed to say I had no idea. I see now that it was not his fault, but he did go along the wrong path and place a burden on his people. He can no longer atone for what he did, so I will have to. I need to go think about what I will do after the war, how I will make up for my father's mistakes. Nothing helps deep thought like sweet. Hmm? Sweets, they help you think. Perhaps you should find some for us. I see. If I find some, I will be sure to let you know. Oh. 
Rings. Rings. Professor. I'm counting on you. Happy to help. Hi, Professor. It's starting to feel like a... I have much expert... This should be... Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I knew you'd come through. Chop the vegetables into bite-sized pieces. After that, skim the top layer off the pan. Be mindful of the heat. Mm, certainly, Chef Dudu. There is no need to call me that. Are you displeased? N no, not in the slightest. I just got momentarily sleepy. It happens to me from time to time. Let me see. First, chop the vegetables. Coming right up, Chef... Uh, uh, Dudu? Good. I am so bored. Day in and day out, it is nothing but dicing vegetables and waiting for water to boil. I want to feel like I am actually cooking. It is not as though I do not know the basics. He could at least let me hold the spatula sometime. Next, we peel the vegetables. Chef Dudu, I was hoping to speak with you regarding something that has been on my mind. Speak? Surely you have noticed my skill while wielding pans and knives, therefore... I think it is time you taught me how to cook. Beyond all this water boiling and vegetable chopping. Impossible. But why? All must be done in the proper sequence. And the first step here, whether you like it or not, is to learn to use the tools perfectly. Come now! You have seen how I use a ladle! You know I'm good for it! Hm. He has left me no option but to take matters into my own hands. <sighs> Stubborn you may be, Chef Dudu. But I will show you the true meaning of delicious. Do you need something? Let's hear it. Oh, no, I don't need anything. I was just hoping to talk to you, Felix. When I said you could be near me, I meant on the battlefield. You're pushing it a little too far. You better not start calling me a meal. You know, I'm not just using you as a stand-in for my brother. I don't mean to upset you, but I've come to realize that you two don't have that much in common after all. I don't understand. Why are you hanging around me if not to replace your brother? It's not that I want to be near Emil, but I want to be near you. What? <laughs> How embarrassing. It must sound like I'm coming on to you. Regardless, you've made it clear that you don't want me around. Uh, no. It's not that. Good. Then I'll continue to spend time at your side. What a perplexing creature. What's that? Did you say something? Never mind that. Why don't we go out for a nice cup of tea? I can't think of a reason to refuse your invitation, so I suppose I have to accept.
Mercedes, I have to insist that you take up a position behind me on the battlefield. I must protect the common folk. And you have been in danger rather frequently of late. I appreciate your concern, but I can take care of myself. Everything is about nobility and common folk with you, Lawrence. It's tiresome. Tiresome? I am only fulfilling my duty. Is that to say you would have left me lying on the floor in pain? Had it not been your duty to assist? You mean when you were hurt on my account? I still would have assisted you, as any commoner would have. It is simply a matter of perspective. And if I were common-born, I would not have simply let you leave without... <clears throat> Never mind. <clears throat> Forgive me. Excuse me? Are you implying that you would have taken advantage of me if you were lowborn? What? No! And I am no longer interested in the hypothetical nature of this conversation. Oh, Lawrence. You'll never change. What do you mean? I find myself growing irritated just looking at you. Is that so? I fail to see exactly how I am so irritating. You claim that you don't want to be involved with common women, don't you? But I know deep in your heart you love being around us. You're willfully ignorant to that. I hope you know what you're depriving yourself of. I am certain I've told you before that my marriage must be beneficial to House Gloucester. I've not the time for fruitless courtship. Fruitless? Oh. How can you say such things? What would happen if you fell in love with a commoner? Nothing at all. I accept the role that I must play, and any sacrifice that must accompany it. So, your duty as a noble is more important than your own feeling? Naturally. If that's true, then your whole existence is rather sad. I am afraid you misunderstand. This is my choice. There is no cause for pity. I think I've heard enough. I have to go. <sighs> Why did this have to happen? Getting separated from my own troop. I'm a failure as a commander. It's already almost sunset. My wounds are aching. And I'm so hungry. Maybe I'm just gonna die right here. <sighs> but no! That's such a pathetic way to die. <sighs> I wonder if the rest of my soldiers are okay. I'm so worried about them. Open that, Aminette. There you go. Caspar? What are you doing here? I was wounded in the forest. L lost sight of my troop. I, I wandered around and it... Oh, where is everyone? Calm down. You got nothing to worry about. They're fine. My men retrieved the rest of your unit. You're the one we've been worried about. How you feeling? Are you hurt? You've got a pretty painful looking wound on your leg. Oh, I'm all right. Though I might have trouble running. If you say so. I gotta admit, I got the chills when I heard you were missing. Your soldiers told me what happened. I was only able to find you thanks to them. You've got a good troop there. You should be proud. What's wrong, Annette? Not feeling so good after all? No, that's not it. I was just thinking about what a hopeless commander I am. It's my job to look after my soldiers, but they ended up having to look out for me. If I'm this hopeless, I shouldn't be out there at all. What are you talking about? I don't know anyone around here who works harder than you. You put your all into your work and everyone knows it. Why do you think your soldiers are so loyal? Kaspar. There's no way they'd do so much for you if they didn't see it in you. Come on, let's head back. I'll help you if you're having trouble walking. Your soldiers are worried about you. Go show them you're doing just fine. Yes, you're right. Thank you, Kaspar. No problem. Just remember that it's okay to make mistakes, as long as you're learning from them. <laughs> Shh.